after my parents failed to wake me up, I was rushed to hospital. I suffered from a fractured skull and a blood clot due to a bleed on the brain. I had to be put into an induced coma. And when my parents got to see me that evening, especially said that he'd be highly unlikely to survive the night. Three days in, however, I was still being kept alive by the life support machine. And on the third day, my parents were invited to the hospital. As my parents went into this smaller room off of the side of the intensive care unit, the specialist that had done the work on me sat them down. And as they sat down, he said, due to the severity of Ryan's injuries, because there is zero brain activity, we would highly suggest that you switch his life support machine off. So for you parents out there, just imagine if that was your child. What are you gonna do in that situation? Some people would freeze, others would just agree. But my dad done something that ultimately saved my life. My dad stood up and he said, no way. I know Ryan more than any of you know Ryan. He's a stubborn little bastard and he <laughs> takes his own time to do anything. You need to give him that time. And by my dad doing that, it saved my life. They did give me that time. And a few days later, they decided to reduce the sedation to bring me out of the coma. But it failed. I wasn't breathing by myself and the pressure was increasing within my skull. I had to be put straight back into the coma. And doctors once again said to my parents, look, you need to switch this machine off. He's not going to wake up and if he does, he would never walk or talk again. And he would be in a vegetative state for the rest of his life. But my parents said no. Because they had that hope. That's what we need in life, people. We need hope. We all need hope to cope. Have only positive expectations. And that's what my parents had. They knew deep down that I was going to come back around, even though the doctors insisted I would never, ever wake up. So that second time, they tried again. And thankfully for me, I did start to breathe by myself. And it wasn't like I just say, I sat up and I was talking. It was just a little line on the screen that was just moving to say that I'm breathing by myself. Nobody knew the true extent to the damage that was done to me because I wasn't, I wasn't talking, I was just laying there 